What's up, everyone? I know we're just kicking back, and we're just playing Mass Effect. I'm Brandon Jones. I've never played this game before. I am now 20 hours in. Uh, I got pushed around last couple weeks, man. Um, there are things we need to discuss about Twitch's best practices or worst practices. There are preview events to be attended. And personal things happen. They're all on Wednesdays. So we keep pushing back. Me playing Mass Effect. So I apologize to Commander Shepard, to my crew, to Rex, to Liara, to Jane, to the Normandy. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for steering me in the right direction. I think I have hopefully steered myself at least to here. Okay, upper markets. I'm assuming lower wards. How about lower markets? Got to go down the staircase. Um, I got some side quests still left to turn in at the Citadel. And uh, next Thursday is going to be PlayStation Onyx the Great. If I read that correctly, it's podcast day. I get to get a bunch of Sony news right before the podcast. That'll be fun. Um, but if it's Wednesday, let me know if I read that wrong. Uh, and then I got a couple of uh, a couple of places to stop by on the old Galaxy map, and then um, we can be on our way to Vermeer. What's up, Jax? Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? I didn't come here to look. Show her the goods. That looks about right. Damn straight it is. These Man. mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Did you bite on any of the Horizon Forbidden West pre-orders? Grab those models? No. Um, I'm probably reviewing that, so I'm probably just going to get a code for Forbidden West, so. Nope. Um... Is it... I don't think it... I don't think I can catch him until I pay him, right? Uh, I saw the Wheel of Time trailer without sound on Twitter. <laughs> while I was scrolling through Twitter. Uh, but I will take the time to full screen that. And watch that. Good morning, Gray Fox. I can't, oh, I'm jumping right into a story thing that I started. I can't remember if I wanted... If I'm here to catch this person. So I don't think so. Seems like I'm going to be a renegade and steal the money and be a jerk. Sure is like <clears throat> chaotic neutral, just whatever. And then you're under arrest as I'm going to spring the trap now. But I think it's too early. Pretend like you remember. I'm going with it. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. Yeah, is he just going to walk away? Here. So is that renegade? Talk to Chorbin. Commander, that was the right choice. Okay. I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? The right choice. You can start by telling me the truth, Chorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are. Quit stalling. Your friend Jalid told us about you. You spoke with Jalid? Then you know about the data? No, but you're going to tell me everything. Yeah, remind the me what's going on. Go. Yeah, out of here, boys. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental Sir Krems, procedure thank you. for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine... A tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? So, <clears throat> fun Jones memory. This is back a long time. I was in elementary school and I went up for show and tell. And I don't even remember what I was talking about. It's a drawing I made or a thing I bought at a toy store. Don't remember. I was doing a show and tell and I did my presentation. And Emily Donalu said, so... What's so special about that? <laughs> Thanks, Emily Donnelly. The keepers Donnelly. are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. I do like scanning things, Jarvan. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. 
Uh, who's your Midnight Sun squad? Definitely Cap. Always Cap. Uh, probably Wolverine, because I miss Wolverine. That would be fun. Um, not a lot of magic. I'm not going to be Doctor Strange or Runaways, whatever her gal is, Mage, or whatever her name is. Um, yeah, I'm going to be lots of metal clanking. <laughs> That's going to be my team. Lots of people, lots of slashy throwy. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. I think the card-based combat is going to be fun. I think it's just going to make it interesting. But he decided to keep the data so you himself. don't get in a rut. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jalid already stole. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by, Commander. If you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I'm not breaking regulations for you or your research. Return what you stole or I'll have you arrested. All right. You don't need to ask twice. Well then, no more scanning. I promise. Of course, Jalid still has the initial data and I doubt he's planning to return it. I'll deal with Jalid. So long, Commander. Magic, yeah. I like it, because there's some people in this game that are like, hey, let's do some secret stuff, and you're like, no. And then there's other people who are like, um, I'm already doing secret stuff, and I haven't really gotten in trouble, except for when you found out I was doing it, and there might be some good, so maybe, and I'm like, no, <laughs> you are all so bad, get out of here. <laughs> Magic was in the trailer, yeah, they've definitely, she was in the extended gameplay trailer. You can see her blowing stuff up. Uh, and Ghost Rider looks pretty sweet. Probably Cap. Wolverine and Ghost Rider. Gotta get some ladies on that team, though. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Oh, and then, uh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a female character for, um... Oh, for my fun, uh, journal updates. Things I've been reading up on before, that I read up on this morning. Um... Hello. Codex. There we, need. there we go. Military. So the Asari military doctrine. Everybody's got their own little camp. There's no uniforms. And they're like super, super deadly. There's not a lot of them though. And so they're not really good for like, you know, Age of Empires. Just like two armies like rushing each other. Um, where was it? A popular, a popular Turian saying puts it, the Asari are not the finest warriors in the galaxy. Fortunately... There are not many of them. The Asari are the finest warriors in the galaxy. Fortunately, there are not many of them. And so I thought that was neat that, like, they're they're still pretty deadly. And they, uh, you know, g learn how to be warriors for, like, hundreds and hundreds of years because they live a long time. And then they, t they talked about us. And it's, like, something like 3% of the human population, which you can, re can imagine is, you know, our full population, our total numbers of humanity... By this time, is probably pretty, pretty intense, and I think it's like three percent of people sign up for the military. <laughs> it's it's brutal, and I like that they just kind of, just kind of drop that in there. Morgoth is proud of how I'm playing this game. I imagine people that are not proud of how I'm playing this game are probably keeping keeping pretty quiet. They're like, I'm just gonna let Jones do his thing, but man, man, um. So I gotta go there, that's a, okay. I can go back to CSAC and talk to Jalid. Yeah, let's do that right now. And here is the, where's the thing? Oh, it's right there. Hello. <clears throat> He's in SeaTac Astronomy. The lore's great. I mean, you say, Maybe you say I'm keeping up with the lore. I'm I'm barely skimming the surface. But uh, it is rich, and even though it is a couple gens back, I, I think overall it is very believable, and I'm digging it. Oh, we got a bunch of people over there. But excited to get back out into space. I like, especially the um, the newer Star Trek movies, they deal a lot with, like, 
you know, I remember, uh, I just wanted to call him Shatner. I remember um, Kirk dealt a lot with like, should I be behind a desk? Like, should I, Admiral's really exciting, but do I want to be an Admiral? Do I want to be a Captain? Do I want to stay with the crew? And uh, Chris Pine dealt with that a little bit too in the latest, the third Star Trek film that he made. I don't know if we're ever going to get a fourth. Um, where, you know, it was really the question of like, is it safer you know, am, am I, if I'm that tactically proficient and I've learned so many crazy lessons, is it best to apply that? I guess Picard's dealing with that now, even though I've had a distance. I'm going to let Picard do its thing. I'm going to let, I'm not going to get invested in Picard. Picard, you run your course, Picard. And when you're done, when they say, oh, three seasons, that was it. Then I'll jump in. Then I can set my expectations <laughs> to wherever they need to be. Jaleed. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Yes. I found out you've been lying to me, Jolid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? <laughs> what about the data? You did not mention that before. Uh, he told you? He told you. Uh, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Rush, man. Yeah, like, you're small and cute and stuff, but, like, that's manslaughter? No, that's not manslaughter. That's... What is that? Manslaughter is the exact opposite of that, actually. Just intent? Like, yeah. I can't let this continue <laughs> any further. I'm reporting what you did. But I can't. What will happen to the data when I'm gone? Dude, dude. Who will carry on our research? I don't want you in charge of the data. Too late, Volus. You have Too your late, chance. Volus. But this data could be used to unravel all the secrets of the Keepers. Think what we could learn about the Citadel. Tell me more about this data. The music's well, kind of intense right now. Preliminary, but our initial scans suggest the Keepers are as old as the Citadel. It, putting out a hit, definitely, but like, if you were to be charged, what would the official, the like, what would it say on the forum? Why the Keepers always rearrange things? The possibilities are limitless. If it's that important, then take it back to the people it belongs to. I suppose I should. All right, I'll take it back. Give me those blue points. There. Hmm. Thank you for not turning me in. I'll make the most of this second chance, I promise you. Just go. <laughs> you don't see me pick that bottom, off, bottom option too often, but sometimes just uh, enough. I got a lot of stuff for that. There were like six Commander, or seven lines of stuff. You have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chellick. Right. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Nice shoulder pads, Chellick. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. Oh, right, because I'm getting right. Shows a lot of integrity. This is a wrap. You didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna yeah. go. I could have compromised no, this for Jenna. I didn't realize. Evidence. Jenna! Thanks again, Shepard. The data! Do we have some data lovers? I'm sorry. Did I just, uh... Um... Okay. In the haunt... In the hand system! There's still a chance to save Han. Um, okay. Whenever I see the word system, that's something. Right, right, right. I'll probably just bump him in together. Yeah, I gotta talk to her. The Citadel Tower. Got it. Uh, that's another system. And then there's this one. There's like a secret one. Yeah, this here. The Macedon system. I gotta go there too and find Dahlia. But the tower is the only thing I have left to do here in the Citadel. As much as I have a blast here in the Citadel, as much as it is definitely my favorite thing to do in this game, and not at all driving over mountains and blowing things up from afar that have absolutely no chance of taking me out. Um, hello. Let's just go back here. Beat Mass Effect 3 again a couple weeks ago, says Gray Fox. I think it's very underrated. I'm expecting to enjoy all of the Mass Effect games equally. <laughs> I do not think this is a series. I'm I'm as invested in this considering how invested I am in the story, I don't see myself being like, well, it's it's funny, like 
<laughs> I, I went to a fish concert one. I went to Fish 8, uh, which they have these gigantic festivals, and it was, like, the only one I've ever been to that's, like, of this size. And I saw one show, and I could only see the first show. I think they did three, because the next day was Halloween, and I'm like, I gotta be home for Halloween. And so I was there for the first night. When I left my car, the people that were camped next to my car were like, you can't leave! I'm like, I gotta, I gotta go home, it's Halloween. Um, but all the people did after... The concert was just bicker about what track was better than what track. And it's like Tear Maker, it's Countdowns, I get it. Like we've, you know, we've created content like that. But it's just so funny, like how how much I just sat around and I was like, I really enjoyed the concert. I thought it was great. You know, sipping wine and just hanging out with my friends. I'm like, this is fantastic. And they were just like, yeah, but that one performance wasn't as good as this other performance. I saw them play that five years ago and they were much better than yada, yada, yada. It's funny. Did I get it right? I got it right. Do I get that stuff right by chance because I'm thinking about it, or are dumb things like that just... Everybody talks about combat and side missions and stuff. I just want the map to be clear in the next game. That's all I ask. <laughs> if I go into the next game and the map is all wonky like this one... Weird. Is she not actually in the tower itself? Yeah, do I gotta go back out this way? Uh, I have two friends, one in particular, that I have been friends with ever since Little League. Ever since, like, fourth, fifth grade. Really, 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 really close friend. And he is extremely into the Grateful Dead string cheese incident. Uh, fish. Trey and company. Um... If you were looking for Emily Long, wasn't that her right in front of the location where you loaded in? Oh, I didn't see. Oh, I think it is. You're right. I hope whatever's bothering you, lady, I hope you figure it out because she's she's really she spent a lot of time there. She just wasn't uh, thought that would pop up on the map, but I believe you're right. I think that's her right there. Maybe yes. I'm already getting readings. This is going to make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, and she's helping me do stuff. And so, yeah, I'm doing a little digging for her. And yeah, this is kind of a morally gray area. But the reason why this stuff doesn't freak me out is because she's going to publish it. <laughs> you know, so like when these people are like, hey, hey, we're digging through these servers and finding stuff like, OK, but at least she's yeah, she, you know, it's going to boost her career. I'm probably going to have to deal with her later, but this was the last time. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. There's that too. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. It'd be fun if Emily Wong later, like the last time I come back to the Citadel, asked me to do something that is completely selfish. And I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. This is the last time would have been fun. Uh, uh, I want to get out of here. Where's that? Is that Wards? Is that Burt Wards? How do I get out of here? I thought Wards would be, yeah, like all of the... All of this stuff. C-Sec is where the elevator to your ship is. Thank you. That's right. I just saw it. I literally just saw it. Um, and C-Sec is in... The Wards. Gameplay dismay says we need more punch options. Yeah, I've been informed I could have punched some people. Sorry, I missed out on that. Your biotics are pretty powerful. Are all Asari that strong? While the Asari have natural biotic abilities, not all have the desire to learn to use their abilities effectively. Mm. All that power and some Asari don't use it? Yeah. You could have conquered the galaxy if you wanted to. They can't join the military. The Asari that don't do not want to. use biotics. Like, you have to. <laughs> Gotta use them. It has been a long three weeks, man. I felt it every one of those Wednesdays. <sighs> Gotta get back. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. 
The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Cool. I'm surprised they mentioned Presley by name and he doesn't really have a lot to say. <laughs> and I talked to everybody before I left, right? Well, I'll check with them after we do side missions and stuff. Um... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's just go down the list. Find the freighter in the Farinita system of the Hades Gamma Cluster and make your way to the biotics. Hades Farinita. Message coming in. Oh, jeez. Patching it through. Commander, Miss Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that, but you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. There is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. Oh, no. Like I see, I, I want something in between. I want this because what happens? Some makes me sound stupid. Well, I don't, I don't know idea what she's gonna say, but like I cares just too much. How angry was the council? There we about go. What okay. you'd expect. Don't worry too much Great. about it, Commander. I think that's They're what I said. <laughs> I think I that's what I said at the time. Uh, I really like her attitude. That was fun. That was a neat phone call. I was like, oh god, here's another side mission. That played out as expected. Gamma. Don't bother telling me where it is because I'll find it by the time the delay catches up. Seems if you've put out a hit on someone and it works, you get charged with conspiracy to commit murder and murder in U.S. law, then you would just get conspiracy to commit murder. Uh, I'm adding that to what Kier said. So I guess that's what it is. But I mean, you know, this is the future, who knows. But conspiracy to commit murder, that would be a quote. Hi, what's up? It is 10.27 a.m. for you, Commander. Just came and we're in talking over about conspiracy to, to commit murder. Shepard, this is Admiral Goku. I found out who set that trap on my head. The ones killed by the Thresham War. And? Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Cerberus. Did just, somebody just said... Alliance Black Ops organization. Somebody just Top in the... secret, highest level security clearance. In the chat, they just said... a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're completely conducting rogue. illegal genetic experiments trying to create some kind of super soldier. So, I love super soldiers. Proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. Whoa. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. Wow, he really took a pause there. This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Cool. 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 What's up, Nyan Broiling. Broiling, you say? I love that stuff. You know, it's a. You know, what is weird though, is the time it takes to do that. It's like survey. It's like here's the survey information. You're like, uh, okay, that that was quick. You know, like I get it. It doesn't matter. You know, I'm able to like absorb it lore wise, and that not. You know, that's not a problem. But. Uh, um, It'd be neat if, like, later on, they let me know. But then I'd probably forget. I'd be like, Juntama? What's Juntama? Like, oh, right, that's that planet I looked at ten minutes ago. Okay, cool, thanks. But it is a little weird. I'd be like, in 0.1 seconds, we went there and determined all of these things. We've done tests. Someone on board had a child.
and it's making a hard burn for the cover of an asteroid cluster. Private owner. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can see some red targets already. Okay, let me just... Okay, okay. It's been a while. Right, right. I remember that. And then... Right. Okay. This is the old Pistola. Okay, I think I'll start with this. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, like that. But I can also just, like, fire? Yeah, and then that does it too. Okay. Hi, what's up, everybody? <laughs> it's been a while. Just a quick button check. I mean, this never gets old. This whole Aliens vibe of just, like, going aboard... Event Horizon, you know? <laughs> Love it. Yo. And it's I think I've probably said something like this, but... It's funny that you see, you know, these environments are definitely, like, modular. <laughs> you know, like, you definitely see, like, they could put a door there if they wanted, but they haven't. Um, what in the world? Why are we all taking that? Oh my goodness. This crew does not mess around. They've got twins! That's why I gave you a shotgun, Rex. We actually did pretty well. But, we gotta get moving. Gotta get moving to where? I'm not sure. And then to the left, okay. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. Just because it's a side mission. You know what I mean? I'll try. Let's not do anything we're all going to regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations... I'll charm my way out of this. For. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Okay, here we go. Boy... Someone's got a pistol pointed to their head, and you see an ellipses after one of their lines of dialogue. It's like, <laughs> I just want to tell you one last thing. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Right? Yes. If you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What? He's a scumbag, but... Sure. You promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known... I didn't promise for you. The reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. <laughs> the lady behind him's like, I was just on my right. lunch break. <laughs> I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Hey! Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when. You <laughs> Boom! I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. Then you weren't doing your job. A Fifth Fleet cruiser will pick you and the prisoners up. I like that I can still get Paragon and yet, like, you know, put a little sauce on it. 
Now don't bother me while I do this manual override. Yeah, that man has a very interesting haircut. There's no question about it. <laughs> that, ma that, that man has a haircut seldom picked in a custom character creator. I wonder if, like, if you make a game and you're able to track, like, what parts of what pieces of cu custom armor and stuff like that that people actually use. And I wonder if there's any hairstyles. It's just, like, nobody. No, no one wanted that hair. <laughs> Nobody ever picked that hair. Who's the hot blonde guy in the first Dragon Age? He had a haircut like that. He had a very, like, helmet head. It was just kind of like... It was a little spiky floop in front. I was like, that's not a... That's not a very middle-aged fantasy setting. Alistair, yeah. <laughs> Alistair's hair was like... What? He was still hot. He was extremely hot. He just had weird hair. Alistair was in my party the entire game. Like, there's... I love him. But he was a dude, bro, for sure. <laughs> Sister Cribs, yeah. Uh, gotta go back and play Dragon's... I'd, I gotta finish Inquisition. Inquisition's a hard game to justify when you're trying to keep up with, like, current events, when you're trying to, like, you know, play Psychonauts 2, play, you know, like, which is definitely on my list. Hello. Why, why label the exit, you know? What's the point? Cool. staring at me. Um, yeah. Let's Yangtze go to the Yahtzee system. Voyage Yangtze. Voyage Yangtze Binthu. <laughs> Voyage Yangtze Binthu. Message coming in. <laughs> Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Oh, Ashes of Aranea. Yeah, I did say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your name has a very old 90s PC online game vibe. <laughs> Ashes of Aranea. That was hilarious. Sorry. It's fun. You know, I have so many patron... Twitch sub, YouTube comment names floating around in my head that um, it's funny when, like, I ask my brain to pull one and it's just like, whoop. I remember I said Xylo Wolfbane one time and Xylo Wolfbane was like, what? And I'm like, it was, it was in front of the dome. And yet when I need a specific name, I can never get it. And now because I got that message... There it is. No, it's Voyager Yanks. Yes, Yanksy Binthu. I should come to the Orange Street Fair this weekend. Is that a thing that a lot of people will be very Message close together? In. Patching it through. Enough with the messages. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics had hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. Oh no. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of research. Well, I can stun them. I've done this before. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I'll take the biotics down, Admiral, and I'll try to limit the casualties. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. Been through.
A hot Jupiter. Oof. Uh, apropos of absolutely nothing, while eating lunch the other day, Milo said, Narf? N-A-R-F, Narf? I was like, Narf? Joker brought the Normandy around in your cell. Oh, I thought Joker was going to do something interesting. Mm. Love those Prothean data disks. And I was like, Narf! And he started screaming Narf at me because I, he, I laughed when he said Narf, and so he wants to make his dad laugh, and so he kept saying Narf. And I said, whoa, big Narf. Then a day goes by, he doesn't say anything about Narf. Then the next day at lunch, he says, Narf! Whoa, big Narf. <laughs> and that's why you have kids. It's a lot of work, but when you get those moments, those moments last for a long time. <laughs> those, you can bring those moments up and they make you happy. True, you don't get sleep generally, but you know, still. All right, Binthu, it's time. Tell Ash Paulson that the next time he's in the studio. I'll do you one better. Uh, Amanda just told Rob. <laughs> because Ash Paulson's my friend. Rob Paulson's her friend. <laughs> and that's, that's the weird world of entertainment. <laughs> in the Lego Star Wars... Uh, or no, the Star Wars... Stores, what was it called? It was like a short animated series that was on Disney+. Plus. It was a bunch of little random Star Wars stories. And I know both the old Han Solo and the young Han Solo. <laughs> uh, old Han Solo is Kiff Vandenhuvel, who was on GT Live. Um, who was Comstock from Bioshock Infinite, and is generally Lightning McQueen in all of the things that Cars does when they can't get Owen Wilson. And young Han Solo is AJ Locasio. Who you know. Okay, I got the jets here. I got the boosters there. I got the rocket there. I got the gun there. Back to the real game. I remember when I was in school in the 90s, I think I was, I was either in like 8th or ninth grade, and I remember like doing a brain impre impersonation from Pinky and the Brain to someone, and I was like, it's a good impression, and they were like, nah, dude, it's not a good impression, crestfallen. <laughs> and, you know, truthfully, it was not. <laughs> Yo. Can I put these boxes in that first room? No, we keep the first room empty. You know that. Jim. Uh. What? What now? What? <laughs> Excuse me? Are those arachni? Huh. Wait, don't you- what? Aww. Your bullets are hella slow, bro. <laughs> You must die. 
Weird. You had to push the button. Clear. I thought, yeah. I thought they were cute, too. I had no idea there were, like, soldiers in this room. Crazy. Well, that was thrilling. Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Shepard. Yeah, I saw him from the map, Rex. You're a little, little behind. But uh, I was speaking about how these maps are kind of modular, and like, it makes sense that they would be in real life. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, it would certainly make it cheaper to set up these bases if you just have these kind of big pods and hallways already pre-built. So they get away with that. I'm gonna go this way. trying to get all my like writer's republic vibes i'm trying to scratch that itch before that game comes out in october yeah i saw uh, i was doing research for the podcast last night and i saw this was kotaku or polygon somebody was like yeah writer's republic's all right um, writer's republic is the closest i'm ever gonna get to like ssx or any of that stuff i miss those games so much so i'm gonna be way into that game which is a bummer that's coming out in october it's like, come out at the beginning of November, man. Let me just play scary games in October. I want extreme sports. Two days before Halloween? What are you doing? I definitely got some equipment to go through when we get back up to the ship. scary games you got on the docket um well there's a lot of them that are already i don't have the list in front of me i know there's one spooky like multiplayer game that's coming out is it back for blood that's coming out in october there's something there's a lot of great releases that i don't really i'm much more of a scary game kind of person than a scary movie kind of person i usually do like three or four or five like movie night type things whereas like yeah sure all like go to Amazon and just stream all sorts of nonsense while I'm, like, working. If I'm, like, if I'm, like, doing podcast producer credits, like, I will f for sure just put on all of the Nightmare Before Christmas movies or something. Or, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, sorry. Because Nightmare Before Christmas is not a Halloween movie. Surprise, surprise. I think the I think the correct way to watch Nightmare Before Christmas is not during the month of October. Surprise, surprise! I don't know what you're saying. What? It's ridiculous. Um, you watch Nightmare Before Christmas on November first because you're all bummed if you really like Halloween. You finish Halloween and it's October thirty first, and you're like, ah, oh, I want more Halloween. You put on Nightmare Before Christmas. And with them, Halloween just ended. And they're like, they're in the same place you are. They're like, I really miss it. I want to do something else. And it's like, well, Christmas is coming up. And you're like, yeah. But I wish Hall I wish Christmas was more like Halloween. Because that was just kind of fun. And it's like, it's the mood you're in. It's the perfect November 1st movie. Because you watch it in October. And it's like, it's about Christmas. It's, it, you know. It's like technically a Christmas movie. It's about like people that become obsessed with Christmas. They just happen to make Halloween. You can also watch Nightmare Before Christmas every single day. It doesn't matter. See, yeah, there's, look at the, yeah. So I wonder, okay, hold on. Let's play this another way. 
Actually, how do I? No, actually, no. There, stay here. Yeah, Rex, you go in. Oh, cause so, and I can see who's who. All right. I just don't send Rex in enough, you know? <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> Get some. <laughs> but. Get in there, dude. Take it out? Is it like considered defenses? What does Disneyland say about Night Before Christmas? Uh, well, the <laughs> the Haunted Mansion Nightmare Before Christmas begins like tomorrow, I think. <laughs> yeah, they start very early in September, as they should. Make that money. Halloween money, Halloween theme park money in California is, I'm sure it's big everywhere, but I just can't speak to that market. But I've spoken to people that have worked, you know, at and with people that work at, especially Knott's uh, Berry Farm, which turns into Knott's Scary Farm, which I don't think they're doing this year. I don't know. Maybe they're doing some weird version of it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a red marker. I got to take them out. Oh, sorry, buddy. He didn't deserve that. Let's head to that next. It's my kind of mission too, Rex. You're my kind of teammate. <laughs> and I and I really you, I really sent him into the I really th threw him at the wolves in this one and he he excelled. That is going to be my new my new strategy. Just follow Rex around with a sniper rifle. Speaking of sniper rifles. Let's just do it now. Let's just take a peek. Go go back in the room with the rack now. Okay, thank you for Hold on. Oh my goodness, hello. Oh, it's an assault rifle. Oh, fun. Gardner's here. Yeah, I've got the, I bought these like custom, right? I doubt I'm gonna. You might find one that's better. Eh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Loti has a surprise. We're still playing Mass Effect One. Sarah Knight updates him. There was a three-week break. It killed Jones. <laughs> I'm, ass I'm assuming you mean it killed him. It's like, oh, that killed me. You know, it's like, oh, I really wanted it. I hope it's not like it. Ki it killed him. You don't. E you don't know what we've been watching for the last hour. It's just, he's. He's not the same. He's not the same. It killed. It killed him. Hello. These usually aren't really like anything, but now they're... Can I not... Right at the tippy top. <sighs> Did like someone, was this a newt situation? Did somebody like sneak into that? 
and then get rescued later or something? You find a teddy bear and bones. <laughs> you find a pacifier and a pentagram. Like, what? <laughs> Alright. Let's go to the last one. Rex is getting antsy. I'm aware those are Prothean relics. I just don't know how toys got. Are Prothean toys? Did the Protheans have like a Barbie line or something? My kid mostly plays around Prothean toys. You know, I find they're really educational and... Yes, they were called humans. Zing! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Imagine if Mass Effect 1 just did, like, sold nothing. It just signaled, like, the end of Bioware. They're just like, oh, they... We, we thought of more, but the... Prothean, like, dude, no one cares about the Protheans, man. It's like, oh, okay, we... We had these characters we were gonna do, like... Nobody cares. <laughs> it's funny listening to the commentary on Season 1... On Season 1. On Firefly. Just literally, like, that show. And, um... You can hear them point out things in the background. And there's like, oh, look, there's that billboard of the thing we were gonna talk about in Season 2. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh, Firefly. Yep. <laughs> Great minds. So, I, yeah, when I opened up the the blue cage, that didn't seem to work out well for me. That just kind of, like, everyone attacked me instead of just a couple people attacking me. So I'm going to take it. See, they're just, they're just, they're just running. You know what I mean? They're just training before... <laughs> the dead guy in the middle. What did he was he doing maintenance? What happened? Do they put someone in there to feed them? Like what? <laughs> what is this? What? <laughs> this mission, man, it's a strange one. No can do. Go, go, go. <laughs> Come on! No sleeping on the job. Come on. Now I'm ready. Yes. You can do that, like, through walls? Or did you just tag him when he came around the corner? And you... <laughs> Floating cover? I love it. <laughs> There's a story. Something happened there. Help me with this encryption box. Singularity works through cover. The rest need line of sight. That's, that's amazing. I know. Maybe I should diversify this team. I don't know. I guess it makes sense to just pick a couple characters and like stick with them. But um, love this crew. <laughs> love, love these two.
Jastrom says, I'm not crazy about Seth Green's Howard the Duck voice. Yeah, I like that they keep bringing him back. I like that they're kind of, like, consistent. Rally round! But... Yeah. Not even looking at my PC. Not paying attention. Looking at the wrong monitor. Okay, here we go. Easy, easy, easy. It's not open yet. Rash <laughs> is running at him. To get Kahoku some payback. Oh, yeah, okay. So this is it. Yeah, Kahoku. Kahoku, no. Oh. Oh, goddess. It's Admiral Kahoku. I guess Cerberus found him after all. Oh yeah, Midnight Suns does have meditative yoga in it. Shout out. <laughs> you can go on a meditation mission. Shout out. I was moved by that track. I don't know. That was very... I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, cool. Vermeyer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Head to Neferon on the Columbia system of the Voyage Cluster. Voyage, Columbia, Neferon. Oh, uh, message coming in. Passion through. The Janeway Cluster. I do have to go to Amazon, though, for something. What's up, Gromar? Uh, I also have a hard out at noon. Because Amanda and I are doing the baby swap. Hot house, hot planet. This is a steamy episode. Onto heater. Land. Every Mass Effect stream. Next time we do Vermeer. I mean, shout out to this game for like keeping it going. <laughs> you know, like, there's more to do. <laughs> Somebody jumps in that like hasn't been on the stream or like has missed a couple episodes. Jumps in live. Like, hey, haven't been around. Is Jones enjoying the game? Like, well, he won't stop playing it. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Like, he's just kind of slightly into it. The more we get, the better. Win-win. Like, Man, this makes me think of... Uh, looking at these mountains makes me think of uh, Valheim. <laughs> I've, been I've been seeing a lot of this. <laughs> you know, just like... I fought a boss who lived on a mountain, and I literally made hiking paths <laughs> up the mountain. 
It literally had like a crisscrossing. Like you were in the Sequoias or something. What a crazy game. And I'm, I'm, I'm like done. Until Hearth and Home comes out, I'm, I'm happily not playing Valheim right now. I was able to like, like peel myself away from it. I'm reviewing something right now. Which is fun. But, uh, yeah. I'm reviewing something else this month. I'm actually putting in two reviews this month. If everything goes well. Is that me? Is that where I am? Yeah. I don't think Brandon will be ready for Vermeyer in the last couple of levels after so much of this chill side questing. Yeah, everything's gonna get serious. I'm gonna be like, what? Why are you guys fighting each other? A buddy of mine likes to quote Sarah Michelle Geller from Scooby Doo a lot. That's so mean! <laughs> Whenever we see something, somebody do something horrible in a video game. That is so mean. It'll be 2023 when we reach Mass Effect 3, Kappa. <laughs> I mean, hey, how epic will that be, huh? That'll be like Endgame by the time we get... standing on it. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> is this the, the, can we, I'm sorry, can this be the thumbnail, please? Can we just please, can we, <laughs> I'm sorry, hold on, <laughs> let me get it. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm too close, I'm too close. <laughs> There's no tire on him at the moment. <laughs> And there's no damage from what I can see. <laughs> it's like Mr. Green from Clue. Well, I didn't do it! <laughs> uh, the Cerberus soldier. Well, see, there you go. An identification tag for Captain Varsynth, one of the Salarian soldiers responsible for capturing League of One. Okay. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's good times. The Mako's good times, man. The Mako's called cutting loose. You know, there's a lot of stress being a commander. You just get it all out of your system, the Mako. I love that we don't ever see, like, a door open or something. It's just like, ah, put the green thing on the side. <laughs> Call it a day. It's like, where's the do Where's the door? Did we Have you ever seen it open one of those? Bigger than a bread box. <laughs> yeah, now that is manslaughter. Hello. <clears throat> Ahem, Rex. Want to somebody sneak up behind us? That's 
cool. Rex is taking cover and stuff. It's neat. We go. Is <laughs> anybody? Everybody was nervous, and there we look at it. Hey! Nice. Feels good. Cool. Cool. Oops. Nice. You know what, man? I might just put I might just put points in assault rifles just to see him shoot assault rifles. <laughs> like not not for any tactical advantage, just because I want to see this guy. Just I got a, I got a lot of assault rifles. Just you know taking up space in my inventory. I think it'd be fun. Throw is funny, but uh, uh, my my girl's got throw right. Yeah, look at that. I'll, 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 I'll max out her throw after this. She just threw somebody this episode. It was awesome. I need a good, I need a good mix of funny and awesome. Just back and forth. It's like, okay, that was awesome. Now let's get something funny. Uh, have any, anybody in chat seen Darkon? Darkon. D-A-R-K-O-N. If you know, you know. If you're like, Darkon, that sounds like an 80s movie. Is that a sequel to Beastmaster? It's like, no. It's a very specific movie called Darkon. There's a, it's a documentary and there's a kid in Darkon that talks about how movies work and how you have to have action and then some comedy and then some more action and then some more comedy. Is Darkon a Smash Brothers boss? Could be. It's not. There's no H though. D A R K O N. Darkon. Uh, it is not a convention. You cautiously press a few buttons. Alarm chimes. Nice. It's funny. I wonder if some of those were written out and they were like, we might do this cutscene, but if we don't, at least we have this description. <laughs> Nobody's seen Dark Hunt. Make it a point. Take it upon yourselves, allies, to watch Dark Hunt. Ah. Blast. I'm so thrown by people having not seen Dark Hunt. It's the kind of thing where if you like see the premise of Darkon, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that kind of looks like fun. It's, it, it's great. It both like makes fun of people who LARP and like shows them in their absolute greatest light at the same time. Like it's, it's for and against, <laughs> you know, like simultaneously. Oh, there's one scene where a guy's buying a potion. It's so good. What I, what I. <laughs> what I need and would greatly use is like a po a potion of extreme death or something. <laughs> it's got like gold pieces. He's buying some potion. It's like hilarious, but it's also awesome. You know, it's 
It's a very entertaining film. Ashes of Aranea, watching a lot of movies while you craft in Final Fantasy XIV. I love that XIV's just fourteen. I love we were like talking about it on the podcast. It's like, so anyway, in 14, it's like, didn't I already do this? Why is this still? Why are you still popping up? Is this not, am I done? <laughs> There's an exclamation point here. Do I blow this up? Okay. I mean, can I? Nuke it from orbit, just to be sure. Ruskles, thank you. Thank you for the sub. Not a lot of games make it to the 14th entry while still being numbered, yeah. That is true. I hope Final Fantasy doesn't lose that. I hope I find my way off the ship. Where is over here? Cool. FF50. Did you say 15 or 50? 50. Oh, okay. Because they're different games. Very different games. <laughs> FF50 was okay. FF28 will still be my favorite forever. <laughs> FF34. Is that exclamation point going to haunt me for the rest of this game? <laughs> FF69 went too far. FF29 is a classic, one of the greats. I'll be, I'll be lucky to, to see Final Fantasy 30. <laughs> Final Fantasy 30 is probably probably past my probably <laughs> past both mine and the planet's life expectancy. Yeah, Final Fantasy 13 was weird, but like the whole series is weird. Shout out to Final Fantasy for being weird. Shout out to like no two Final Fantasies ever coming out. Even, like, offshoot games. It was like, not this again. You know, like, there was always... Dress fears, huh? Okay. Like, we, we... Like, not a lot of people pass on Final Fantasy games because they're, like, so much like another game. We were talking the other day how there are, like, four games in Evil East, and, like, they're all very different <laughs> from each other. All right. Vermeer. <laughs> oh, I remember this. The Illuminate. Okay, I'll hold off on that one for now. Yeah, I'm like already there, so I think... I'll do that after that, but I'm going to do this right now. Amazon and Voyager, because I'm in Voyager, I think. Transmission coming in, Commander. I think you're going to want to hear this one. Okay. Greetings, Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. Who are you, and who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Uh, it's Suffice not. Say, I am an agent <laughs> for the Shadow Broker. Barf. You see, Admiral Kahoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. We provided that information.
Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kahoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. Uh, yes it is. You must have some connection to Cerberus. How else could you tell Kahoku where to find them? Information is our business, Commander. Through our contacts, we were able to determine that the Cerberus group was active in the Voyager cluster. Unfortunately, that was all we were able to find out. That is why we are so interested in acquiring copies of the files from you. See, here's the thing. is like, I know you're supposed to take... Oh, no, no, you gotta take the high road. You know, and just morally... Oh, I'll be super tempted to just hand this off to them because they could give me access, they could give me information, they could give me money, you know, equipment. Like, so many things I could potentially get from these people. You know what I get? The satisfaction of these people being like... <clears throat> I'm sorry, let me... <clears throat> Hello, Normandy, please. Like, Joker's like, yeah, can I help you? Commander Shepard, please. I'm just like, okay. And just came like, Commander Shepard, you have my information? I'm like, what? I'm sorry, I'm a Spectre. I'm an official Spectre business. No, 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 that's my information. Okay, who are you? I can't tell you. Okay, the thing is, click. <laughs> like, oh well. Knowing somewhere there's there's some bureaucrat in some office. There's some, like, you know, shadow broker reject. Like, oh, oh she hung up on me. And it's like, yep. These are classified alliance files. I'm not handing them over to you. Be reasonable, Commander. The treat now. The treat is isn't what operating outside alliance. What's he gonna do? I know who this is. Like, how am I gonna? The alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. No secrets. I don't care, dude. Great. Someone somewhere. I don't know who you are. Might as well be you. If you want to set up a relationship with me and do business, and we can talk about this, maybe. But like, don't call me while I'm doing something else. I don't trust you. My loyalty is to the Alliance, not the Shadow Broker. If that's even who you that work for. Unfortunate, Commander. Just because you told me the Shadow Broker? Like, the next time no. Something from that's us. not how we're going to start to do business together, dude. Thanks, though. <laughs> so I'm in Columbia. I want to go... To... No, I already went there, too. Boy, I'm really hitting up Voyager, huh? Like, it, it fills me with the most amount of satisfaction to hang up on that weirdo. Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. Hemorrhoids? In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission-complete burst from one of them. What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. Demo nuke? Demo nuke? Beta nuke. <laughs> Alpha nuke. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. Uh... I understand this must be handled, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 20 <laughs> Probes, years. probes are uncomfortable, that's true. <laughs> probes can be... Hey, now. <laughs> and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. The Void? How am I supposed to get there? We'll get on it immediately, Admiral, and we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. I apologize, too, because the Admiral is voiced by Lance Hendrickson, and I will do anything that Lance Hendrickson says. It will take a lot on some mission for them to be like, no, he's actually evil. He actually you know, murdered all these people. Oh, okay. All right, well, fine. I'll stop listening to him, then. Agadbinium.
I like knowing that I don't like have to leave the Normandy every time. I like just sending a crew. Yeah, go mine for me. One sentence. Try again, Tremar. One sentence. Got some nitrogen, though. No. Yeah, PlayStation event next week. Woo! I'm excited. It's windy. <laughs> Early access nuke, Brad <laughs> Speeds. I just saw that. It's funny. All right. Let's go shopping for nukes. The quick time event to all end all quick time events. That's cool. That's neat. Uh, gameplay dismay is hoping for more Final Fantasy 16. So is Damiani. Yeah, that would be neat. I'm gonna play the heck out of that game. Why do I just instinctively go up this mountain? I don't know. It's probably on the other side of it. Let's see. Hello? Oh, nothing's shooting at me. Nice. Game faces, everybody. The signal is coming from a mine? This smells. I concur. This did not crash. Someone moved it here. No kidding. There's a nuclear weapon down there. We can't abandon it. Just stay on guard. Right. Here we go. Ooh. Wow. Little water dripping sounds and everything. Somebody better fix that sink. You know, nuclear weapons, so of course I got my gun out. It's a big old room. Someone just screwed us. <coughs> Shepard, at last. Have we met? My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who yeah. do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? I don't study the internal politics of pirate bands. The strongest leads. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. Aww. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the verge. 
You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. Oh. I was the motivator. Oh, okay. The instigator. All right. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed. I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? Yeah, I'll try. It doesn't have to be like this, Halliot. Empty words from a dead woman. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Shepard? We've got air and light and the Normandy's still in orbit. Let's look for another way out. <laughs> no, okay, okay, who's tar- who, who is that? Is this Casey Hudson that's telling me this? Who's that? Just, just letting you know. Uh, there's, there's no time to get out. Uh, you have to disable the bomb before it goes off. Just let you know. Just FYI, just FYI. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here we go. All right. What's it get? Oh my God. <laughs> I'd take no chance. Wait, what? I, I don't care. I, oh, I gotta manually disable this one. You gotta be kidding me. Tants. <laughs> I just spit a lot of Omni Gel, but man. Whew. So, anyway, how you doing, Lyra? <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah? Rex? Yeah, we probably should. <laughs> there we go. Let's get back to the ship and blow that guy up. I wonder where he is. Oh, he's probably in here. I couldn't open this door before. Actually, no, he's probably not in here because he's about to blow up the... About to blow this whole place up. Some sort of answers. Oh, different exit. Wait, do I have to walk? <laughs> How do I get back? Can I just call it or fire in the hole? Hmm. Isn't that far? Just like go oh yeah. I was gonna say can I just go streak on this where I just slide down the hill, but it doesn't even slide. This is a good level for someone Selling us. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> uh oh. See, how much better is this? Not knowing it was him. Because imagine, you know, like, knowing it was him for like a while, you know, and you're just like, that Halyat, one day I'll finally get him. And it's nothing <laughs> to find it out, like, you know, a minute ago. It's like, well. Humanity, you're welcome. <laughs> it's just like, it's like. We got him. <laughs> 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 
time to get the hell out of here. <laughs> uh, what's next? Hold on now. Let's not be hasty here. There is a question mark. Oh, and there's some debris behind me. I love, too, that, like, I didn't even know who he was. I'm like, wow, this Turian's uh, got some armor on him. <laughs> it's like, it's the guy. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stay with me, Mako. There we go. Oh, no. It's a combat Carl. What's that from? Supposed to be G.I. Joe, but they said no. It's, it's, pre it's a pretty easy one. They said no, and then Toy Story was like the biggest movie on the planet, and then Mattel called them up, and they were like, Hi! Um, <laughs> we would like to be in Toy Story 2, please. <laughs> like, oh, okay, do you? Good to know. Go to the medical base on Chohei, located in the Cacus system of the Hades Gamma Cluster. Okay, and... But what, did we do this? So we did this. Yeah. Privateers is also okay. Oh my god. Okay, let me, let me do this one. She wants, me, she wants me to find her sister. I'm sorry, everybody. This game is just too darn long. Um, the Macedon system, the Artemis Cloud Custer. Artemis Macedon. Save. Game's just fun. I want to play more of this game. There we go. Boom. That's the first part. They seem like stunned every time they say, travel to another system? It's like, yeah, I do it all the time. No big deal. Travel to another system? It's probably because, like, the load times are very quick now. <laughs> it's before. It's like... Fargaloos? Pretty standard Fargaloos. Did you try the Fargaloos? Yeah, it's a little spicy. Matriarch Dillanaga again. Fun if I could go read those or something. That'll do, Potabig. That'll do. Let's 
Let's just do Cade, just on this run, just for fun. Let's just, why not? Let's try him out. And because we have proven today that Mass Effect can't happen on a day that is not Wednesday, Maybe one of these days I will take a day off. That is maybe like on a Saturday morning or something. Get a babysitter or something. And just hammer through several hours in this game. Because I heard a lot of things about Mass Effect, but nobody told me it was long. Weeks, man, they, they change. It's a roller coaster ride this Easy Allies. This this week here has been been pretty tame. I'm actually like really prepared for the podcast tonight, which feels good. I'm not like rushed. There's no like big events happening today. There might be big news later, but like I got my outline already laid out. I the headlines and also this week everything like done. It feels good. But last week, holy cow! Last week was just one thing after another after another. They were all great. Cool stuff. Got like three previews in a row. <laughs> Looking forward to going through my equipment. That's the other thing, like I, I didn't even boot up like this game at all. Not even to look at equipment, not even to right, I'm gonna do the stronghold last. I know I'm gonna drive right past it, but Coming for you, Dahlia. Copter skates. That's a nod. 56 months, thank you. Uh, how long to beat? Has Mass Effect Story plus extras at 28 hours. So at... 2 hours per roughly. That's 14 episodes. We're on episode 11. So there you go. I'm gonna push it though. Because they don't... They're not accounting for stories I have to tell jokes I have to laugh at and times I have to go back into a room I just left because I missed a piece of equipment. Oh, did I like not go to the anomaly and just drive to this thing anyway? Okay. Did I just, I just, I saw the red targets and I just, I got two. They, they, they drew me in. Be funny, though, if I just drove away. Went to check out the anomaly. Did I hear gunfire outside? Yeah, there's a... Uh, ship came by and left. Really? Yeah, they just, like, took off. driving around shooting this thing so much. Have we talked about this chat? I'm seriously going to just take off. <laughs> I'm just going to go check out the anomaly. <laughs> Doop -doo -doo. Now look, if Dahlia made it this long... to mine. I'll tell you what driving around like this makes me think of too, and which just had an awesome update, and which is just... It's not even a backlog, because I've played that game a lot, but it, just, it haunts me, is No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky's new update. Frontiers, where you like create your own town, and like, ah. Oh. But there's so many... Uh, there's, just, there's other games to cover, man. There's other games to talk about, but that game... Mm, that game... I am doing side quests so I can drive this as long as possible. Whenever side quests like take me like right aboard a ship, I'm like, oh, <laughs> get to drive, I get to drive my little buddy around. 
And we have one of these in the studio. We got one when uh, the director's cut or something came out, the complete edition of Mass Effect 3 or something came out. We got... I don't think it's remote control, but I think it does light up. It's sitting on one of the shelves. I should, just, I should break it out and put it in the background. Yes. Right, Republic. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Hello, Anomaly. Check this out. Dillanaga, man! Among other things. We do need shelves in the streaming room. I actually have a set of shelves in my garage right now that I... that we don't need. That I have been thinking about taking them. This just moves around, right? Not taken in. How much have I been playing Avengers? Uh, I have not played a lot of Wakanda. I only played what you saw with Kyle. I've not gone back. Um, but I have played a lot of Future Revolution. I actually just made a guild in that mobile game. Easy allies on a Sakaar 4. If you are so inclined. I think we have like five members. All right, <laughs> let's do it. But uh, uh, my, my PS5 has been off for a while. So it was neat uh, having a bunch of reasons. Boot it back up. Because I played Aliens on PC, and then you know, I'm playing lots of Valheim on PC. Yay, let's go rescue somebody. Good vibes. This will be a nice crunch. The rescue crunch. Rex, go get him. Feels bad. Go get him. Go get him, Rex. Where are you, Rex? Where are you going? <laughs> what did I miss? Uh, Yoku's Island Express is free on Epic. Oh, no.
discover Evan that the Asari leading these slavers and Nasana Dantius, an important ambassador of the Citadel, are sisters. You should return to the Presidium and confront Nasana with this. Ooh. Presidium? Wait, where's the Presidium? Is that back in the Citadel? No! I go back to the Citadel, there's like 20 new side quests. Like, no, come on! <laughs> <laughs> There's some diplomat on Vermeer who's like, they said she was coming. The Sonic gave me that mission a long time ago. Cool. It's like red hair, kind of tall. Yeah, Shepard, right? With the yeah. Weird eclectic crew, Normandy, right? Yeah. They said she was coming. <laughs> Any day now. <laughs> And they get mad at me. Where were you? I was doing my job. Didn't you like work for a reporter? Shut up. <laughs> I was opening crates, all right? How many manual overrides have you done? Oh, was that the, uh, you, your inventory is kind of getting bulky morning message? Uh, Kino is German for cinema. I actually know that because uh, there's the Kinos in a lot of equipment names. Kino Flow is a company that makes um, film, I believe. Like actual film. What did I say? What was, what was Kino? Uh, Cool. I still got... Is this glitched again, or is there like another thing I'm supposed to do? Here. Yeah, okay, that was her, right? Okay. Heavy metals. Um... Not gonna do that right now, but I'll do this one. Seven minutes left, sure. Hades, Cacus, Choey. <laughs> Hades, Cacus, Choey. Operation Kino. Hades, Cacus, Choey. Chohei. Hades, Cacus, Choey. Cacus. I mean, look at the other planets. Let's go. Let's go. I'll read about those planets before the stream next week. If something else doesn't come up on a Wednesday. <laughs> Might as well get that out there now. Again, I have a heart out at noon. I will end the stream abruptly if I have to. It kills me to do it, but I'm going to drive straight to the objective. Where is it? <laughs> Science base. Anomalous signal. I love anomalous signal. All right, let's go. Quick. Rex is like, whoa, Shepard, you got a hot date or something? What's going on here? Oh, this is the one where everyone, where I can potentially kill people. Don't I have... I got the special grenades, right? That, like, knock people out. The melee strat doesn't work. I gotta use the grenades. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to want to take my time with this one. So I'm actually going to... 
going to do base crunch. I think I'll, I think I'll... Grenades don't work either? Oh. Well, then maybe I'll just, yeah. Snipey, snipe, snipe. Well, thanks for letting me know. I totally would have gone in chucking grenades at everybody. There is a cheese way to do it. Ah, oh, yeah. You can literally hear Milo screaming from the next round. All right. Sure, he's coming in. Let's let's crunch this. Let's do a, we'll do a Milo crunch. I just wanted to have a good crunch, but Milo can crunch this. Milo can crunch this, no problem. Crunch, crunch, yeah. crunch, crunch. You got you've got. Uh, do you have a sp you have a spaceship on your shirt, right? Yeah. He's got a well, you have a UFO. Yeah, look, he got a UFO on his shirt. UFO. Hi, guy. What do you want to say to the world? Say, it's like, I don't want to say anything. I want to break stuff. Let's see. Um, Get my hands all over this mic. One berry, two berry, pick me up. Little berry. Hat berry, shoe berry in my Hello, berry. <laughs> Raspberry rabbits. Raspberry. <laughs> this game just got really quiet, too. Uh, I love this kid so much. All right, I'm gonna go. Pez. I'm gonna go gobble up this child. I'm just gonna. And go Pez go. and train. Yep. And Mickey Mouse and. Yep. Mickey and. Everything is go with Milo. Mini. This is Commander Shepard. Uh, go Pez. Hey everybody, he's just quoting Travis touchdown. Ah. Uh, yeah, there we go. We got some baby cuteness, and we're done. In three minutes, I'm taking over babysitting duties. Next Wednesday... Let's just look at it right now. Let's just look at the schedule. Is anything scary happening next Thursday? Sony tried to muscle in on my turf, but... Wait, is it next Wednesday? No, hold on a second. Next Wednesday. I got to showcase with blood at 2, but I can stream Mass Effect in the morning and then get in the car and go do it. Um, mm. got some fun, uh, some fun videos for you to watch that day if everything goes as scheduled. <sighs> lots of stuff here to produce these guys, lots of stuff to stream, lots of missions to do, lots of things to shoot. Haven't seen Geth in a while, have we? That's kind of nice. I was kind of getting a little, little Gethed out in this game, and it's, uh, they've, they've changed up the things that I'm fighting, and I'm enjoying that. Seeing lots of different planets, and hopefully I will not kill a lot of innocent civilians. Next stream, but no promises. I am Brandon Jones. I've never played Mass Effect before, and I'm being, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm being, it's like I'm a foreign exchange student, and I'm, all of you are the, the very nice family that I'm staying with, and they're just, I'm learning the language, and I'm learning the customs, uh, and slowly but surely I'm making my way through this game and having a blast doing it. Um, and I will get to drive the Mako at least back to the Normandy at the end of the next mission, so we'll at least get that in there. And one day, someday, over the rainbow. We will get to Vermeer and eventually finish this game. But I'm having too much gosh darn fun. Um, it's been so long since I played this. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for tuning in this morning. Uh, we're going to do the podcast tonight. Stay tuned to that this weekend. And then tomorrow is easy chilling. Uh, tomorrow is the first day of three days of 12-hour blocks, marathon, uh, studio, goof-off, chilling, streaming, playing lots of fun games. Uh, check out uh, twitter.com slash easy allies for our schedule. We just posted that. And that'll be a lot of fun. No Mass Effect and easy chilling, but I will be playing a lot of other fun things. Very much looking forward to that. As tired as we will be, it will be worth it. Um, thank you all for telling me how to play Mass Effect. I love it so much. It's fun. Look forward to get back to it next week. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend.